taking a look at the latest release from Numskull and their quarter-scaled arcade line. This Bubble Bobble machine marks their 8th official release to date in the line. Originally released in arcades back in 1986 by Taito, Bubble Bobble greeted players with cutesy graphic imagery, addictive music, and loads of stage-clearing bubble-popping fun for you and a friend. Gameplay mechanics were very straightforward and friendly to newcomers. Each player controls one of the two dragons, moving them along platforms, falling to lower ones, or jumping up and across to higher ones. Players must defeat a number of colorful enemies for each stage by blowing bubbles to trap their enemies, and then popping the bubble-trapped enemies by colliding with them. The simplicity of the gameplay, visual aesthetics, and its catchy music made it an instant smash hit in the arcades for Taito. The game is also one of the first games to feature multiple endings for players to discover. The casual ending is revealed after a player finishes the final hundredth level in the game, which then reveals a message to the player suggesting that they again need to play the game to completion with a friend in two-player mode. If two players accomplish this task and beat the hundredth level and boss, they unlock the more desirable ending where Bub and Bob are transformed back into humans and reunited with their girlfriends. This two-player ending also reveals a code that, when deciphered, allows the game to be played in the faster, more difficult Super Mode, and if this mode is completed with two players, a final ending is displayed in which the final boss, Super Drunk, <coughs> yes, that is actually his name, is revealed to be the brother's parents under the control of some outside influence. Shakespearean storytelling at its finest. Like with other previous releases in the quarter-scale arcade line from Numskull, this machine is made with great attention to detail, faithfully recreating the look and feel of a full-size arcade machine. Though there was never a dedicated cabinet design for Bubble Bobble in the arcades, Numskull did work hand-in-hand -hand with Taito to create this one-of-a-kind cabinet. Real wooden panels surround the machine, covered with high-quality decals that produce original artwork. The graphics surrounding the monitor bezel and the control panel are exceptionally vibrant and do a nice job of popping from the Taito imagery found on the sides of the machine. Now this is the first two-player control deck machine released in this line as well, and while two adults technically could play on this machine at the same time, it's not going to be a desirable experience for most. Joysticks and buttons do feel nice and clicky. The joysticks themselves are responsive and do well to direct our friendly dragons around the platforms with ease. The light-up marquee atop the machine looks nice, and it's evenly lit, and has no visible hot spots or light bleeding along the edges. The LCD screen used in this machine does a good job of displaying the game's bright and colorful visuals, though it being a TFT display instead of an IPS display, you will start to see some color washout once you start to move your viewing angles, not something that really affects a player as their viewpoint would always be straight on, but if you have a spectator looking over your shoulder, they definitely wouldn't have the best angle of view. Now around back is the standard Numskull number plate, volume wheel, power switch, and charging port. A fully charged machine will provide players with around 4 hours of gameplay. You can access the game menu dip switch settings by turning the machine on and then holding down the front two Bub and Bob panel buttons. This will give you access to change things such as the gameplay difficulty settings, gameplay lives, bonus point settings, demo sounds, and more. Just below the Bub and Bob buttons are a pair of illuminated coin buttons that serve as the player's way to insert their credits to begin their game. This machine runs the official arcade ROM using a custom emulator from Numskull. Gameplay is fun, but there's definitely some sort of scaling or filtering being applied to the image on screen that prevents it from being 100% authentic to an arcade counterpart. For some purists out there, these changes may be an absolute deal breaker, but I personally still found myself plowing through the mini levels and enjoying the gameplay as it is. There's something so addictive about this game, and it's always been hard for me to pinpoint what exactly captivates me so. Whether it be the colorful dinosaur designs, or the catchy theme music that sticks in your head for hours on end. It's simply arcade magic and it brings me back to those simpler days of my youth and I'm very pleased with my purchase and I'm quite satisfied with how well this machine turned out. It joins the rest of the family in my quarter scale arcade collection and I anxiously await future releases in the line. The Bubble Bubble Machine really is a fantastic addition to the Quarter Scale Arcade lineup. I like the new slash old design they went with with this Taito cabinet. It's unique, especially like this faux riser we got here in the base of the cabinet. The nice little 
no slip rubber feet that way you're not scratching a shelf or a desk if you are going to put this on a shelf keep in mind these are taller than most little knickknacks and collectible items this one in particular is 17 inches tall but all the little details like the vents the grill in the back and everything things you would see on an actual full-size arcade cabinet always amazed me that numbskull goes that extra mile and make sure that they include those amazing little details the gameplay I, I really enjoy this game. It's super addictive. Like as soon as you die, you're just like, well, crap, I, I got to do better than that. You know, so you're immediately drawn into playing this more. And I highly suggest you pick one of these up if you're interested in collecting the quarter scale lineups or if you're a fan of Bubble Wobble in general. I'll put product links down in the video description box below. And that does it for this video review. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like button. Share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot.